Hey guys, this is Brian with Bear Bones Entertainment. We're here at Hawthorne Heights. You guys like to introduce yourselves and your role in the band? I'm Matt, I play bass. I'm JT, I sing, play guitar, and is are generally awesome. I'm Micah, and I have to put up with his shit, but I also play guitar. How's that order been so far? Really good. We're real. We're really early into it, so everybody's still. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everybody's still fresh and only about a fun. week. Only about a week into a seven-week tour, so yes. no, no one's burnt out yet. Mm-hmm. How does it change when you get closer to the end of it? You get burnt out. Yeah, it's you're, ready, you're ready to go home. The countdown you're begins. Ready. You're ready to go home. You're tired of uh, driving from city to city. Mm-hmm. You're always happy to sing like the show portion where the fans are like singing along and, and you see the reactions and that's always fun. But the other 23 hours of the day, you've kind of grown tired of, you know, you just want to go home and relax. But Do you typically have a list or first thing you guys like to do when you get home? Sleep, sleep, get in bed, take yeah. a shower. <laughs> yeah. What is it like to be able to come back and play this big like, anniversary of your album? What's that like for you to be able to play it all the way through? It, it's been a lot of fun. You know, you don't really think of things like this when you're writing an album, and then you don't think it's going to be 10 years later and you're going to be performing the same album. But it's been cool. You know, it's brought back a lot of memories. It's kind of reinvigorated the uh, songs. And um, one of the cool things is we don't have to argue about a set list. Really, <laughs> because, you know, it's, the album is the album. It's already kind of created for us. but. Uh, so that's, that's been cool. I know this would be hard to imagine, but starting out, did you guys think you were going to kind of usher in a whole new kind of era in music? No, we didn't, we didn't think of anything. We literally just wanted to be in a band and play shows. We wanted to play as many shows as we could. We wanted to travel to as many areas as we could. That was it. Zero expectations. What does it mean to you guys to know that like fans hold you to such a high standard? And you mean so much to so many kids around the world. That's awesome. That's awesome to just have any sort of connection and to keep that connection for you know for ten years and to in even to have people that started listening to us, you know, two weeks ago that are coming to the show and be like, Hey, this is, just heard about you guys. This is the first time we're ever gonna see you and we're like, Where have you been? You know, but it's cool to continue to make fans and to see like to see not everybody has grown 10 years with us, to see that there's young people, you know, like 15 year olds just now kind of getting turned on onto our music. And that's uh, crazy to think, but it's, it's a great feeling. Do you have any spots you're really anticipating getting to on this tour? Any shows you're really looking Dallas forward to? Dallas one of them, because we, uh, we really like to eat here. Um, I personally really like California. It's uh, a good vibe, the weather's great. Um, Seattle. Yeah. Well, we haven't been up there in a while. So. Yeah, there's a lot of cool. Vancouver. We haven't been to Vancouver in tons of years. Yeah. I know we met there. up with, um, with you guys last time you were in Dallas at South by So What and interviewed then. What have you guys kind of been up to since then? Uh, we went to Europe since then. We um, re recorded our, uh, our first album, kind of a sort of acoustic strip back way. And then, uh, you know, we took about a month and a half off to kind of gear up for this tour. And we've just, you know, been on the road generally. And I personally am a really big fan of acoustic. I like the kind of intimacy of it with with fans and with the music itself. What made you guys want to do an acoustic thing? Uh, well, it's always weird to kind of re-record your album almost in the same way that you did do it because, you know, it's what really can you change other than maybe guitar tones and stuff like that, but uh, it was a little bit more challenging and it's a way to just breathe a different life into songs. And besides, obviously, fans getting to see you play the whole album front to back, what else can they expect to see on this tour that they might not have seen before from you? Uh, we're, we're definitely playing some songs uh, that we haven't played in a long time. We're also playing songs that we've never played live before the 10 year anniversary tour started happening. So, you know, fans of our band that have seen us over the past 10 years, you know, they could have seen us five or 10 times and we've still never played some of these songs. So they'll be able to see some cool stuff. They'd have last week's signing for fans. What, um, any of the new ones they haven't played before that you generally enjoy like the most on your set? 
Uh, that's kind of weird for us <laughs> because uh, you know, we we want to play what fans want to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, like we had a hand in writing all the songs and everything, so we have songs that we, I guess, that we'd like to perform other than other songs. But uh, I don't know. We're playing "Bring You Back" right now, and that's it's a lot of fun. Besides the obvious like major hits, is there anything fans have really been asking for? Uh, I mean, you know, people out there's a decent amount of people out there at like screaming song titles and stuff, and like people get excited for like track eleven off of which, which is blows my mind. Yeah, I don't think I've ever got to track eleven on an album, so that's cool. Yeah. It means a lot to be able to get an album nowadays and people actually are able to listen to the whole thing mm -hmm. yeah. and keep going because people just skip around so much mm -hmm. now. Yep, That's definitely. Cool. Yeah. It says a lot of, about your album. Like kind of reju rejuvenates my uh, passion for music because people out there actually know a song that's 36 minutes into an album. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. Considering people will get about seven seconds in and go, eh, I hate it. So those are typically the best ones though. Mm -hmm. The yeah. ones that the radio never sees. Mm -hmm. Yep. Was there anything else you guys would like to add? Uh, come out to a show, yeah. bro. Come, come out to a show. We're only <laughs> kind of doing this one time. This is, you know, a 10-year anniversary tour. Uh, we never thought that we'd be able to make it 10 years and be able to play these songs in their entirety. So this is your uh, opportunity to see it. So if it means something to you, change your plans. Come out to the show. This is going to happen one time. You guys definitely don't want to miss this show. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good to meet you, man.